Hi there, and welcome to a new Tips and Tricks episode. Today, it's all about how to edit non-Java strings, such as HTML, JSON, or XML, in Java files. How to do it properly. Let's check it out. So, sooner or later, you might find yourself in a Java file where you want to define, let's say, an HTML string, like so. So, you have a simple variable, HTML, you want to print it out to the console later on. Now, HTML is just a string, so you don't have any autocomplete in here. You cannot just put the tag automatically here. You don't have autocomplete on, let's say, some attributes in here. But wouldn't it be nice if you had these autocomplete and validation features? Fear not, you can simply hit Alt Enter, then choose Inject Language or Reference, and then you see a list of all available languages. You want HTML, you want to select HTML because it's an HTML string. Now you can see the color changes and now automatically you get autocompletes. So when you write a P for example, it autocompletes, you get validation. Let's see what it says here. Missing required lang attribute, right? And if you wanted to, you could also put the title, let's say a class reference here, a CSS class title, and that's fine. Now that's already nice and dandy and a bit better than just editing plain strings. But what about, imagine you want to add new lines and whatever, and you can see already that the color changes and the language gets uninjected, so to speak. So let's revert that. Then let us add the language again. And now you can hit Alt Enter again and select Edit HTML Fragment. A new editor pops up and you can see that now you have, it's basically a plain HTML editor. You can put new lines in here. So down here, you only see the HTML, but up here, you can see that you get new lines in here exactly what you wanted. So you can edit the plain HTML and IntelliJ make sure that the string is proper valid Java. And especially it's tricky if you have multiple, let's say, classes in here, IntelliJ put in single quotation marks, but if you have double quotation marks, for example, so you have a subtitle here, you see in Java, you'd have to escape these quotation marks as well, and it's quite tricky. So better, you just write plain HTML, and let the LODE do the rest for you. That was a very quick tip today which obviously saves you a lot of time during development. Other than that, what can I say? Stay tuned for the next tip next week.